Hey all, my name is Alicia and today I'm going to be showing you what is in my Ipsy bag for the month of November. I know that November is already almost over but I wanted to go ahead and do this video because it is my first YouTube video and I wanted to kind of do something that was pretty easy for my first video. I've been wanting to start a YouTube channel for over a year now but I never really knew I wanted to record and I wanted to start with an Ipsy bag, but every month I keep saying, oh, well, I'll record it tomorrow, I'll do it tomorrow. And then I'm like, well, it's really late, so I'll do next month. And the same goes on every month. And I know it is later, but I wanted to go ahead and do this because I know that I'm not going to get better. And I'm not going to look less awkward <laughs> unless I just uh, record. So here I am, and I hope you enjoy it. So I have to say real quick that I have not been impressed with Ipsy for the past few months. I would say probably the past four or five months I haven't really been happy with Ipsy. And I'm hoping that it gets better each month and it still hasn't. I may stop my subscription after next month. I'm going to see what comes in my December bag, but I may stop doing it for a little while. I don't know if maybe I'm not as happy with it because I used to work at Ulta and I worked at a new location so all of these different representatives from different brands would come and train us and they would always bring us free full-size products. So I was able to try a lot of different products that way. We also got a discount so I was able to buy things um, discounted and try it that way. So I did buy a lot of things that I've been wanting to try because of the discount. So that may have something to do with it. I'm not real sure, but um, like I said, I just haven't really been happy with it, but I'm going to quit rambling and show you what is in my bag. So first of all, this is what the bag looks like. It's like galaxy looking so stars and stuff I'm not a fan of this bag definitely be giving this away or gifting this for Christmas maybe somebody will get this for Christmas <laughs> so let's look inside so the first thing that I pulled out is this eyeshadow pan it is from Luxie I believe is the brand it says be your own kind of beautiful it's paraben free cruelty free. So it comes in this little box and then it comes like this. I don't know if you can see it. It's a really, really pretty plum color. I am definitely going to be using this. It's a beautiful fall color. I really do like this. So I will definitely probably be using this. And it is number 290. Okay, so this next thing, when I first opened my bag and looked at these, I just saw that it said makeup paper, so I just automatically thought that they were those oil absorbing sheets, and I was like, eh, okay. Well, when I actually read it, it's actually pretty cool, and I actually can't wait to use these. They are little blush papers. So, see how it says makeup paper? But then it says travel blush. So I felt kind of dumb afterwards. But um, this is such a good invention because blush is one of the big things that breaks when you travel. One of my blushes in my Ipsy bag actually came broken. And of course they replace it for you. Anyways, I think this is really handy. It comes with 10 sheets. And it says, um, I'll read the back, it says, What I am, colored blush paper made to simplify your blushing needs wherever your busy life takes you. Use me, abuse me, but you will never break me. I am shatterproof. How to use. Pat or rub paper up apples of cheeks. For more color payoff, repeat motion with more pressure. One sheet is good for both cheeks. So it comes with tin, and it says that um, you can use one sheet for both cheeks. So I'm pretty excited about this now that I actually read it. I am going to put this in my purse because I love little travel size things like this. My boyfriend travels for work quite a bit 
And so I go and see him on the weekends if he's working and can't come home on the weekends. And so I love having little travel size things in my purse just in case I happen to forget something while I go and see him. Most of the time I don't ever forget any makeup product but I will have it in my purse just in case. The next little thing that I got is this Cool Way Stronghold Spray. This reminds me of a 90s spray or something. Anyways, it says spray on wet hair and blow dry to style or spray on dry hair to hold your style in place all day long. I don't really use a whole lot of product on my hair. I probably should. But I don't, and I've tried a couple of the sprays that are supposed to make your hair stay the way it is, and they haven't really worked for me. I don't know if I just haven't tried the right one or what the deal is. I doubt I will use this. Um, I might use it. I don't know. We'll see. This next thing, do not know how to pronounce that, Trey Steak. Anyways, it is a mini matte lip crayon in chili red. I believe I've gotten one of these before in an Ipsy bag. And that is what it looks like. It's a real pretty red. I love red lipsticks, but it seems like every time they send me a lipstick, it is red. So I feel like I'm good on the red. Once again, I do like red, but I just wish that they would send me different colors so I could try different colors because I don't wear lipstick a whole lot, but here lately I've been trying to wear it a little more. So I would like to try different colors and I can't try more colors if I keep getting the same color. So I don't know if I should tell you all this, but when I first got one of these, see how it looks like it doesn't have a cap on it? I thought, like when I just glanced in my bag the first time I got one of these, I was like, did they really send me this without a lid? Like, I was getting mad. And then when I was playing with it, I was like, oh, light bulb. So it just twists up, just like that. And the last thing, I do like that they sent this because I it's a brand that I have heard of before. And I do like trying different brands that I haven't heard of because um, there's a couple that I've really liked and never heard about it. So I do like that they send things that aren't as popular. So I do like when they occasionally send at least one product um, from a brand that I've heard of. And this month it is Smashbox. It is the Full Exposure Mascara. Unfortunately, I already have this mascara, but once again, I do like that I've heard of Smashbox. I like Smashbox, and this is probably another thing that I will put in my purse to have just in case. So that is all that is in my bag. Once again, I wanted to go ahead and make this video and show y'all what was in my bag because I know that it varies and people get different items, so I wanted to show you what I received and my thoughts on it. Um, let me know how you liked your bag and if you have been disappointed in Ipsy or if you still have been loving Ipsy, um, let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear your thoughts and comments. And yeah, that's all I have. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did like it, I would love it if you would subscribe to my channel. I plan on doing a yearly favorites pretty soon, so keep an eye out on that. Till next